rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag, to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please. Councilmember Irby? Here. Councilmember Page? Here. Councilmember Wassinger? Here. Councilmember O'Mara? Here. Councilmember Dolan? Here. Council District seat is vacant. Councilmember Harding? Here. Mr. Chair, we have a quorum. Thank Move you. for approval of journal and meeting March 31st, 2015. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carries. The journal is approved. We have no bid openings this evening, so we will move to communications. Mr. Chair, there are no tax compromises or zoning matters this evening, so we'll move to road and bridge matters. Under road and bridge matters, item number 1, 6, district. Receive and file, and that will be the order. Item number 2, 7th district. Uh, receive, file, plan, specifications, and detailed estimate of cost to be approved, and the director of procurement to be authorized to re-advertise for bids as requested pending Missouri Department of Transportation review and a copy of this report to be sent to the interested parties. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Moving on to other communications, Mr. Chair. Item number one. She found a county council be directed to, to prepare appropriate legislation. Same motion through item number three, and that will be the order. Item number four, fifth district. She file an agreement be a Approved as recommended. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number five, seventh district. Receive, file, and the agreement be approved as recommended. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item number six, first district. Receive, file, and the county council be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. Same motion for item number seven. So ordered. Item number eight, fifth district. She found the county council be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation, and that will be the order. Item number nine, six district. She found the county council be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation, and that will be the order. Item number 10, first district. Same motion. So ordered. Item number 11, second district. She found the county council be, be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. So ordered. Item number 12, sixth district. Same motion, and that will be the order. Item number 13, first district. Receive, file, and the county council be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. So ordered. Item number 14, third district. Receive, file, and the county council be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation and a copy of this report be sent to the city of Manchester. So ordered. Item number 15. Receive, file, and the matter be held on the order of business and referred to the council as a committee of the whole, and that will be the order. Item number 16. Receive, file, and that will be the order. Please read the add on. We have one add-on this evening, Mr. Chair. Item number one. <coughs> okay. Thank you. Receive, file, and the county concert be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation, and that will be the order. County executive report, so we move to report a special committee. St. Louis County Council met as a committee of the whole on Tuesday, March 31st, 2015 to consider a recommendation from County Executive Steve and B. Stanger to take the necessary legislative action as requested by the Director of Administration to authorize the issuance of special obligation bonds not to exceed $25 million in support of the North Park development. This relates to both <coughs> number 59 and 60. I move that the report of the March 31st, 2015 meeting of the Committee of the Whole be received and filed and adopted as submitted. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? 
Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. The report is adopted. We now move to public forum. We have three speakers this evening, Mr. Chair. Thank you. When your name is called, if you would please come forward and keep your comments to three minutes, please. First speaker is Trish Hill. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and um, thank you for the opportunity to speak. Patrick Dolan, with your permission, I'd like to address the entire board. Um, again, my name is Trish Hill. I'm an advanced practice nurse in child and adolescent psychiatry here in St. Louis. I live in Florissant, have for 26 years, and have two daughters in Ferguson Florissant School District. Um, I have been a nurse in St. Louis for 33 years. Um, and have been practicing in psychiatry at the advanced practice level for the last five. During that time frame, I worked at Children's Advocacy Services and did a year's worth of training under Children's Advocacy Services training when, when I was in school. Um, so I'm very well versed in trauma and working with traumatized youth. I had worked for them, and when I left, I went to work for BGC Behavior Health. During that time frame, there was a big change um, in Children's Service Fund. Um, individuals who were at that location. While I was at CAC, um, Julie, Julie Russell was the person who reviewed all of our records and reviewed our practice, and she is gone. Um, she is the one who referred me to BJC Behavioral Health when I left. When the fund, um, when they did some of the restructuring and the rebilling, they failed to provide billing code for advanced practice nurses. When I, which meant I lost my job at BJC Behavioral Health in North County, lost the only full-time psychiatric provider for children and adolescents. Um, there are two full-time pediatric psychiatrists in North County and two part-time through BJC Behavioral Health. And I would like to ask of the board that they consider on my behalf speaking with the counts with Children's Service Fund or the people in charge of Children's Service Fund to be able to continue to be funded and off and paid through the Children's Service Fund for my full licensure. Right now I'm relegated to doing therapy only. I cannot provide any kind of medication management. I think part of the confusion with this is they do not want to let all APRNs in. And I don't either. Um, I know that even with my, my circumstances, I, work, I worked and trained under John Constantino, and he was confused about my credentials, thinking I was a pediatric nurse practitioner that was cross-trained in psychiatric nursing. And so he thought, with those credentials, I should be in a hospital supervised by physicians. I worked independently and was funded by Children's Service Fund, having the highest outcomes of anybody at Children's Advocacy Services for three years. Yet they have refused to um, fund me going forth. I am starting a nonprofit in North County focused on the traumatized youth and providing case management, psychiatric therapy services, and educational support services for the children there because many of them, and as you know, many of our school districts are failing in North County. Thank you very much. Thank you. <clears throat> Next speaker is Tom Sullivan. Mr. Chairman and members of the council, I have a few things to mention. <coughs> On the radio this morning, the mayor of Ferguson was blaming St. Louis County government for the delay in tearing down burned out buildings. He said the county was requiring a lot of red tape. On the radio this afternoon, County Executive Stinger was asked about the surplus funds from the hotel motel tax for the Edward Jones Dome. <coughs> Mr. Stinger didn't mention that the surplus is now almost all going toward the Cardinals new stadium, $110 million. The total going for downtown sports stadiums from St. Louis County is nearly $300 million. At last month's meeting of the Metropolitan Sewer District Board, preliminary approval was given to a $1,050,000 no-bid consulting contract to Brown and Caldwell, a company headquartered in California. The contract is for assessment of plant operations and development of a plant asset program. There are several interesting things about the proposed contract. The first is that this is where former MSD Executive Director Jeff Thierman went to work after retiring from MSD with a $95,000 a year pension. He will likely take in about $3 million in pension payments over his lifetime. When he left MSD, Mr. Thierman specifically mentioned his new firm does not do business with MSD and doesn't even have an office in St. Louis. 
As, a, as MSD executive director, Jeff Thierman was a complete disaster. The people of this area will be paying for his incompetence for decades to come. It was on his watch that the government sued MSD, which wasn't surprising. The list of MSD's environmental violations was a mile long. The cost to settle was $4.7 billion. It was 100% avoidable. Jeff Thierman was just as big a failure when it came to addressing stormwater problems. He accomplished virtually nothing in almost 10 years. He proposed the impervious stormwater charges without voter approval. The Missouri Supreme Court ruled unanimously in 2013 that the charges were unlawful. But Jeff specialty was handing out costly and questionable no-bid consulting contracts by the tens of millions of dollars, often to politically connected firms. A record $48.1 million of consulting contracts was approved at just one meeting. The Burns and McDonald firm received over $30 million of consulting <coughs> contracts in recent years. MSD board member Robert Berry was appointed by former county executive Charlie Dooley, used to be the general manager for Burns in the St. Louis office. That's the way it is at, Saint, at MSD, just one big, happy, and corrupt family. It wasn't that long ago that their general counsel received a 22-count federal indictment and eventually served almost four years in a federal prison. Similar to many other consulting contracts, it's doubtful the million-dollar contract for Jeff Thierman's company is even needed. MSD has been running treatment plans for decades and has never needed a consultant to assess plan operations. It's been said that MSD trustees don't need to be elected as they are accountable through the appointing authorities the mayor of St. Louis and county executive. So I would suggest the county executive Stinger might take a look at the questionable contract. It is but one symptom of a sewer district in need of some major changes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Final speaker this evening is Abir Moten. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Abir Moten, and I'm homeless. Um, I went to my house in Florissant, which my ex-husband had he was taking care of and he's neglecting. And I found out that uh, Linda and David Emis, who are spies for the government, they just fled out of the, of the house. They just vacated, they're out, like, out. And then my house is empty. They made my house dirty. They smeared black stuff all over my house. There's black stuff on top, on the bottom. They pulled more of the shingles. I have so much shingles that they, they have a dumpster outside my house to where the neighbors threw everything in it. And um, they're trying to fa frame me with a bill as they're putting things inside, and they ordered it all together. And so they, they're trying to, to hurt me so that they can get access to my house. That's my house. You know, even though the government is playing games to where I don't have rights to vote that much today, I went to vote and I couldn't vote because they were just stalling, trying to, to give excuses so I couldn't vote. They said, well, maybe next time you'll get to vote. I said, OK. There won't be no next time. There'll always be a time when I get to vote because I am an American-born citizen. I have every right to vote wherever I am. I always vote, but sometimes they just want to put something in my way. Now, the other day, my car, I was parked, and I went to the bathroom. When I came back, someone spilled Aronia juice. That bottle cost $30 of Aronia juice for good health, and I bought also molasses, a whole big bottle of molasses. They opened my car. They went inside the car, and they smeared it in the back seat of my car, my clothes, my underwears everything so that I can look like I pee and poop in my car. I had to go clean it, wash it, make, and wash everything. Even though I was like, oh, I'm low on money, they did it on purpose so that maybe I will, I'll use it on gas and I won't use it on cleaning my clothes. I clean it on my clothes, but I still have clothes that are stained. They're trying to challenge, challenge me. They're putting me in situations to make me look bad. I, call, I, I contacted someone I knew in the mosque. It seems to me Adel M. Dad, who works with Timothy Fitch, told him to, to stop things. Adel M. Dad went to the mosque, and then he had a safe inside the mosque, and he broke it to pin it on me so, uh, because I'm homeless, to, to retaliate, to make it look like I stole it, to pin it on me so that you know people can say, well, don't help her. She's a thief. Well, let me tell you something. I'm richer than you. Really, in, in true fact, if I had my rights right, and if I had lawyers like every single person has a right to vote and to have a lawyer, I'll have my things back and I'm gonna have my things back because people hurt me, they defamed me, they humiliated me, they put hardship, I have to pay for this and Thomas Frawley's people live in my backyard. So Thomas Frawley is involved in this whole thing and then there's a family dollar store next to my house in Florissant that's connected to Deals. Deals hired me in Ju July 1st to try to ruin my reputation as I was assistant manager hired to be a manager and I did ve a very good job. But they want me to look bad so that they can take over the house. Thank you. 
Thank you very much, everyone. Have a good day. You too. No more speakers, Mr. Chair. Well, that concludes the public forum. Uh, introduction of bills. Bill number 79, introduced by Councilmember Dolan, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to accept a grant of up to $5,000 from the Metropolitan Park and Recreation District, AKA Great River Streamway, for support of four programs of the Department of Parks and Recreation, and authorizing the county executive to execute necessary documents. Bill number 80, introduced by Councilmember Dolan, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to execute a contract with Coppergate Square LLC for lease of space for a South County Precinct substation at 5445 Telegraph Road. Bill number 81, introduced by Councilmember Dolan, an ordinance amending Chapter 202, Title II, San Luis County Revised Ordinances 1974, is amended personnel classified service by adding a new section to be known as Section 202.165, relating to secondary employment by directors in the merit system. Bill number 82, introduced by Council Members Irby and Page, an ordinance authorizing St. Louis County, Missouri to issue its taxable industrial revenue bonds, the Boeing Company Project Series 2015, and an aggregate principal amount not to exceed $300 million for the purpose of providing funds to pay the cost of an industrial development project in the county, approving a plan for the project, and authorizing the county executive to enter into certain agreements and take certain other actions in connection with the issuance of the bonds. Mr. Chair, that is all the bills. Thank you. <coughs> Perfection of bills. Bill number eight, introduced by Council Member Romero. Hold, please. Bill number eight is held. Bill number 27, introduced by Council Member Dolan. Please hold, and that will be the order. Bill number 59, introduced by Council Member Irby. Perfection of bill number 59. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Abstain. Any opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 59 is perfected. Bill number 60 introduced by Council Member Irby. I move for perfection of bill number 60. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Abstain. Bill number, or motion carries. Bill number 60 is perfected. Bill number 62, introduced by Council Member Dolan. I move to perfect bill number 62. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 62 is perfected. Bill number 63, introduced by Council Member Dolan. I move to perfect bill number 63. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries. Bill number 63 is perfected. Bill number 64, introduced by Council Member Dolan. I move to perfect bill number 64. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries. Bill number 64 is perfected. Bill number 65, introduced by Council Member Dolan. I move to perfect bill number 65. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion carries. Bill number 65 is perfected. Bill number 66, introduced by Council Member Dolan. I move to perfect bill number 66. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 66 is perfected. Bill number 67, introduced by Council Member Dolan. I move to perfect bill number 67. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 67 is perfected. Bill number 68, introduced by Council Member Romero. I'd like to take it up, move for perfection, bill number 68. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 68 is perfected. Bill number 69, introduced by Council Member Romero. I can take it up, move for perfection of bill number 69. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 69 is perfected. Bill number 70, introduced by Council Member Dolan. I move for final passage of bill number 70. Perfection. Perfection. Or perfection, I'm sorry, bill number 70. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 78 is perfected. <clears throat> Bill number 71, introduced by Council Member Irby. I move for perfection of bill number 71. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 71 is perfected. Bill number 72, introduced by Council Member Dolan. I move for final or for, for perfection of bill number 72. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 72 is perfected. Bill number 73 introduced by Council Member Dolan. Hmm. 
Okay. I move to perfect bill number 73. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 73 is perfected. Bill number 74, introduced by Council Member Dolan. I move to perfect bill number 74. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Bill number 74 is perfected. Bill number 75, introduced by Council Member Dolan. I move to perfect bill number 75. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Bill 75 is perfected. Bill number 76, introduced by Council Member Dolan. I move to perfect bill number 76. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 76 is perfected. <clears throat> bill number 77, introduced by Council Member Irby. Mr. Chair, we have a substitute bill. Please read the substitute bill. Substitute bill number one for bill number 77, introduced by Council Member Irby, an ordinance authorizing St. Louis County, Missouri to issue its taxable redevelopment project leasehold revenue bond series 2015 in an aggregate principal amount not to exceed $99 million for the purpose of providing funds to pay the cost of acquiring and constructing a facility within the redevelopment area described in the amended Lambert Airport Eastern Perimeter Tax Increment Financing TIF redevelopment plan approving the county's acquisition of certain property within the redevelopment area in connection with the construction of the facility and authorizing the county executive to enter into certain agreements and to take such other action as may be required in connection with the issuance of the bonds. I move. Sorry. I move for adoption of substitute bill number one for bill number 77. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Bill number, substitute bill number one for number 77 is perfected. Adopted. Or adapted, I'm sorry. Shall I read for perfection? Yes. Substitute bill number one for bill number 77, introduced by Council Member Irby. I move for perfection of substitute bill number one for bill number 77. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Substitute bill number one for number 77 is perfected. <clears throat> Bill number 78, introduced by Council Member Dolan. I move to perfect bill number 78. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 78 is perfected. Final passage. <clears throat> bill number 263, introduced by Council Member Irby. At the rec recommendation of the Retirement Board, I move to drop. Bill number 263. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 263 is dropped from the order of business. <clears throat> bill number 51, introduced by Council Member Page. I move for final passage of Bill 51. Second. Roll call, please. Council Member Irby? Aye. Council Member Page? Aye. Council Member Wassinger? Aye. Council Member O'Mara? Aye. Council Member Dolan? Aye. Council Member Harder? Aye. Mr. Chair, on Bill number 51, there are six ayes. Bill number 51 is finally passed. Bill number 52, introduced by Council Member Dolan. Please hold and uh, that will be the order. Bill number 53, introduced by Council Member Harder. I'd like to move for final passage of Bill number 53. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Mr. Chair, on Bill number 53, there are six ayes. Bill number 53 is finally passed. Bill number 54, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. I move for final passage of Bill number 54. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Harder. Aye. Mr. Chair, on Bill number 54, there are six ayes. Bill number 54 is finally passed. Bill number 55, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. I move for final passage of Bill number 55. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Page? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Harder? Aye. Mr. Chair, on Bill number 55, there are six ayes. Bill number 55 is finally passed. <coughs> Bill number 57, introduced by Council Member Dolan. I move for final passage of Bill number 57. Second. Roll call, please. Council Member Irby? Aye. Council Member Page? Aye. Council Member Wassinger? Aye. Council Member O'Mara? Aye. Council Member Dolan? Aye. Council Member Harder? Aye. 
Mr. Chair, on Bill number 57, there are six ayes. Bill number 57 is finally passed. Bill number 58, introduced by Council Member Dolan. I move for final passage of Bill number 58. Second. Roll call, please. Council Member Irby? Aye. Council Member Page? Aye. Council Member Wassinger? Aye. Council Member O'Meara? Aye. Council Member Dolan? Aye. Council Member Harder? Aye. Mr. Chair, on Bill number 58, there are six ayes. Bill number 58 is finally passed. Bill number 61, introduced by Council Member Dolan. I move for final passage of Bill number 61. Second. Roll call, please. Council Member Irby? Aye. Council Member Page? Aye. Council Member Wassinger? Aye. Council Member O'Meara? Aye. Council Member Dolan? Aye. Council Member Harder? Aye. Mr. Chair, on Bill number 61, there are six ayes. Bill number 61 is finally passed. <clears throat> Resolu Resolutions, Mr. Chair, we have one this evening. Resolution number one, introduced by Council Members Irby, Page, Wassinger, and Harder. Resolution, whereas the people of St. Louis are keenly aware of the tragic events that happened in the city of Ferguson on August 9, 2014, when Michael Brown was shot, and in the following weeks and months, and no one with hopes that our county prospers and its residents live as a harmonious community can overlook the degree to which civic and societal injustices and unfairness spark the civil unrest and protest, which continue even today, and whereas the Civil Rights Division of the United States Department of Justice, DOJ, has completed an investigation of the practices and operations of the Ferguson Police Department and Municipal Court, which many now view as having worked in justice and unfairness, particularly against minorities, in turn, undermining community trust, and whereas while the city of Ferguson will have to do what it can to ensure that the injustices uncovered and set out in the DOJ report are not repeated, it is now generally acknowledged that local governments throughout the region must affirmatively take steps to ensure that the lessons of Ferguson are learned and that the leaders of local governments must consider how in many ways their own jurisdictions may not have been so very different in the treatment of their residents and visitors and whereas the events of Ferguson have sparked a debate at the state level concerning a number of disparities in the justice system that unfairly burden some members of our community who are most unable to bear them, giving rise to a growing recognition of the need for municipal court reform, and whereas the County Council is firmly committed to these vital ends and intends to dedicate its efforts to making the needed institutional and attitudinal improvements, <clears throat> now therefore be it resolved by the County Council of St. Louis County, Missouri, as follows Section 1, the members of the County Council encourage the leaders of each local law enforcement agency and local government to address and contemplate for themselves the issues identified in the DOJ report so that they can continue to serve their constituents in a lawful manner, respectful of all. I move for adoption of resolution number one. Second. Roll call, please. Council Member Irby? Aye. Council Member Page? Aye. Council Member Wassinger? Aye. Council Member O'Meara? Aye. Council Member Dolan? Aye. Council Member Harder. Aye. Uh, Mr. Chair, on resolution number one, there are six ayes. Resolution number one is adopted. Moving on to unfinished business, Mr. Chair. Item number one, first district. Please draw. So ordered. Item number two, all districts. I move for adoption of order number two. No, we're oh. unfinished business. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, I'm flipped the page too quick to thought we were getting out of here. Next we're, page. All right. There you go. Hold on the order of business. All that to hold it. And that will be the order. <laughs> <laughs> and under new business this evening, Mr. Chair, we have two prepared orders. Two for adoption of orders one and two. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion or carries orders one and two are adopted. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We are adjourned.